Poetry is when an emotion has found its thought and the thought has found words. Poetry is an echo, asking a shadow to dance. Painting is silent poetry, and poetry is painting that speaks. I decided that it was not wisdom that enabled poets to write their poetry, but a kind of instinct or inspiration, such as you find in seers and prophets who deliver all their sublime messages without knowing in the least what they mean. I was reading the dictionary. I thought it was a poem about everything. What is a poet? An unhappy person who conceals profound anguish in his heart but whose lips are so formed that as sighs and cries pass over them they sound like beautiful music. When power leads man toward arrogance, poetry reminds him of his limitations. When power narrows the area of man's concern, poetry reminds him of the richness and diversity of existence. When power corrupts, poetry cleanses. Genuine poetry can communicate before it is understood. If your daily life seems poor, do not blame it, blame yourself that you are not poet enough to call forth its riches, for the Creator, there is no poverty. The poets have been mysteriously silent on the subject of cheese. If my poetry aims to achieve anything, it's to deliver people from the limited ways in which they see and feel. Poetry is not only dream and vision, it is the skeleton architecture of our lives. It lays the foundations for a future of change, a bridge across our fears of what has never been before. Poetry is nearer to vital truth than history. Poetry is a deal of joy and pain and wonder, with a dash of the dictionary. A poem is never finished, only abandoned. Poetry should surprise by a fine excess and not by singularity, it should strike the reader as a wording of his own highest thoughts, and appear almost a remembrance. If you cannot be a poet, be the poem. Poetry is the spontaneous overflow of powerful feelings, it takes its origin from emotion recollected in tranquility. Poetry is thoughts that breathe, and words that burn. Poets are the unacknowledged legislators of the world. No poems can please for long or live that are written by water drinkers. You will find poetry nowhere unless you bring some of it with you. Poetry heals the wounds inflicted by reason. Poetry is just the evidence of life. If your life is burning well, poetry is just the ash. I consider myself a poet first and a musician second. I live like a poet and I'll die like a poet. In science one tries to tell people, in such a way as to be understood by everyone, something that no one ever knew before. But in poetry, it's the exact opposite. Every single soul is a poem. A poet is, before anything else, a person who is passionately in love with language. The moment of change is the only poem. Poetry is language at its most distilled and most powerful. I would define, in brief, the poetry of words as the rhythmical creation of beauty. To see clearly is poetry, prophecy and religion all in one. A poet's work is to name the unnameable, to point at frauds, to take sides, start arguments, shape the world, and stop it going to sleep. The crown of literature is poetry. You don't have to suffer to be a poet, adolescence is enough suffering for anyone. Poetry is the one place where people can speak their original human mind. It is the outlet for people to say in public what is known in private. A poet can survive everything but a misprint. God is the perfect poet. To read a poem is to hear it with our eyes, to hear it is to see it with our ears. I intended an ode, and it turned to a sonnet. Poetry, the best words in the best order. Publishing a volume of verse is like dropping a rose petal down the Grand Canyon and waiting for the echo. One merit of poetry few persons will deny, it says more and in fewer words than prose. Poetry is the art of creating imaginary gardens with real toads. Poetry is the revelation of a feeling that the poet believes to be interior and personal which the reader recognizes as his own. When it comes to atoms, language can be used only as in poetry. The poet, too, is not nearly so concerned with describing facts as with creating images. Poetry is not a turning loose of emotion, but an escape from emotion, it is not the expression of personality, but an escape from personality. But, of course, 
Only those who have personality and emotions know what it means to want to escape from these things. Poetry is finer and more philosophical than history, for poetry expresses the universal, and history only the particular. A poet must be a psychologist, but a secret one, he should know and feel the roots of phenomena but present only the phenomena themselves in full bloom or as they fade away. Poetry, even when apparently most fantastic, is always a revolt against artifice, a revolt, in a sense, against actuality. I have nothing to say, I am saying it, and that is poetry. A poet is a nightingale, who sits in darkness and sings to cheer its own solitude with sweet sounds. The poet is a liar who always speaks the truth. Poetry is an orphan of silence. The words never quite equal the experience behind them. Poetry is the synthesis of hyacinths and biscuits. Breathe in experience, breathe out poetry. Reality only reveals itself when it is illuminated by a ray of poetry. You don't make a poem with ideas, but with words. He could not die when trees were green, for he loved the time too well. Poetry is all that is worth remembering in life. He who draws noble delights from sentiments of poetry is a true poet, though he has never written a line in all his life. A poet looks at the world the way a man looks at a woman. Poetry is a mirror which makes beautiful that which is distorted. The job of the poet is to render the world, to see it and report it without loss, without perversion. No poet ever talks about feelings. Only sentimental people do. Poetry is the art of uniting pleasure with truth. Poetry is what gets lost in translation. One will never again look at a birch tree, after the Robert Frost poem, in exactly the same way. Immature poets imitate, mature poets steal. Even when poetry has a meaning, as it usually has, it may be inadvisable to draw it out. Perfect understanding will sometimes almost extinguish pleasure. Poetry is the mother tongue of the human race. There's no money in poetry, but then there's no poetry in money, either. Therefore is a word the poet must not know. Always be a poet, even in prose. We all write poems, it is simply that poets are the ones who write in words. A true poet does not bother to be poetical. Nor does a nursery gardener scent his roses. Poetry should should strike the reader as a wording of his own highest thoughts, and appear almost a remembrance. All bad poetry springs from genuine feeling. It may be said that poems are in one way like icebergs, only about a third of their bulk appears above the surface of the page. There is poetry as soon as we realize that we possess nothing. Poetry is that art which selects and arranges the symbols of thought in such a manner as to excite the imagination the most powerfully and delightfully. The poem is a little myth of man's capacity of making life meaningful. And in the end, the poem is not a thing we see it is, rather, a light by which we may see and what we see is life. A poem begins as a lump in the throat, a sense of wrong, a homesickness, a love sickness. The poet may be used as a barometer, but let us not forget that he is also part of the weather. Wanted, a needle swift enough to sew this poem into a blanket. If I read a book and it makes my whole body so cold no fire can ever warm me, I know that is poetry. Everything one invents is true, you may be perfectly sure of that. Poetry is as precise as geometry. Poetry lies its way to the truth. Usually a life turned into a poem is misrepresented. Poetry is the opening and closing of a door, leaving those who look through to guess about what is seen during the moment. If Galileo had said in verse that the world moved, the Inquisition might have let him alone. A poem might be defined as thinking about feelings, about human feelings and frailties. How do poems grow? They grow out of your life. No poem is easily grasped. So why should any reader expect fast results? Any healthy man can go without food for two days, but not without poetry. Pain is filtered in a poem so that it becomes finally, in the end, pleasure. Poetry is ordinary language raised to the nth power. Poetry is boned with ideas, nerved and blooded with emotions, all held together by the delicate, tough skin of words.
A poet's autobiography is his poetry. Anything else is just a footnote. A poem is true if it hangs together. Information points to something else. A poem points to nothing but itself. Poetry is the deification of reality. The poet doesn't invent. He listens. Each memorable verse of a true poet has two or three times the written content. I still read Dunn, particularly his love poems. A poem can have an impact, but you can't expect an audience to understand all the nuances. I like poems that are little games. However, if a poem can be reduced to a prose sentence, there can't be much to it. You don't help people in your poems. I've been trying to help people all my life, that's my trouble. Poetry is plucking at the heartstrings, and making music with them. If you read quickly to get through a poem to what it means, you have missed the body of the poem. The novel is born of disillusionment, the poem, of despair. Sometimes poetry is inspired by the conversation entered into by reading other poems. Each word bears its weight, so you have to read my poems quite slowly. There will always be working people in my poems because I grew up with them, and I am a poet of memory. The fact of the matter is that the most unexpected and miraculous thing in my life was the arrival in it of poetry itself, as a vocation and an elevation almost. I sometimes talk about the making of a poem within the poem. Everyone thinks they're going to write one book of poems or one novel. Poetry and beauty are always making peace. When you read something beautiful you find coexistence, it breaks walls down. Pure mathematics is, in its way, the poetry of logical ideas. And New York is the most beautiful city in the world? It is not far from it. No urban night is like the night there. Squares after squares of flame, set up and cut into the ether. Here is our poetry, for we have pulled down the stars to our will. Poetry is simply the most beautiful, impressive, and widely effective mode of saying things. If I feel physically as if the top of my head were taken off, I know that is poetry.